leaning because we have to fell the tree in the direction of lean, generally speaking. Okay, the way you tell lean is you get up next to the tree, you put your chin right next to the trunk, and you try and figure out where is the tree over my head. When I look up at the top of the tree and look at the branch structure up there, where is it over my head? Do that with the tree that you're standing next to. Just grab the closest tree, walk yourself around it. You can kind of pull it to make it settle out a little bit. That one's not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah. And try and figure out where is that tree over your head? Which side of the tree are you on when it's over your head? You see how that works? Yes. Okay, so I've decided that this tree is leaning in that direction. Sometimes it's hard to tell, like sometimes the trees are straight up and down. A general rule of thumb, this is not always true, but a general rule of thumb is that trees tend to lean south, or in the southerly direction. That way is south, that way is north. So, when in doubt, that's something you can go with. All right, that's my lean. You establish um, which way you think the tree is gonna fall, and then you can manipulate where it falls within a certain range, right? So like I could make this tree, if this tree's leaning here, I could make it fall sort of between here and there probably, depending on how hard it's leaning. Okay, so that's where your plan comes in. P stands for plan. Based on the lean, what kind of cuts are you gonna make in the tree to successfully get the tree to fall down to the ground? The goal is to get the tree to fall completely to the ground and not get hung up in other trees because a hung tree is a dangerous tree. So we wanna try and avoid that. It's gonna happen. And that's why we start you guys on small trees that we can move. Tree gets hung up, if it's small, it's not that big a deal. A big tree that you can't move, if it gets stuck in other trees, if it gets hung up, then you're in a really dangerous position. Like that one over there? Exactly. That's really hard to deal with. Okay, so this tree, leave it. Leaning this way. Now I need to look at the canopy out in the direction of lean. What can you guys tell me about the canopy out there where I want this, or where I think this tree is gonna fall? Cluttered. It's cluttered. Look at all the branches up there. There are a bunch of trees up right. there. Um, I don't really see a very clear path necessarily, but if I was sort of choosing between the lesser of two evils, where do you think I should aim this thing? Yeah. I don't want it to fall into that tree because that's the closest tree. Right there. Right in it. Right? Um, this tree in front of it is also somewhat in the way. And then there's kind of a bunch of trees over there. So I'm sort of looking at this gap right here. Just to the right of those branches. I'm trying to hit this gap right here. You get the tree to fall in this direction. Okay? So once you decide that, based on what you see above you, you can sort of stamp out a line in the snow and that's your target line, that's what you're aiming for. Okay, that's the direction that you want the tree to fall. Now it's time to start making Okay, what you wanna do is leave a strip of wood in the, in the middle of the tree that is gonna act as a hinge. Like picture this, this is a door and, and the stump is a wall, right? You're leaving the wood between, that's connecting the door to the wall so that as it folds over, it can only go in that direction. If you cut through your hinge, now the tree can go there, here, any which way that it wants to. You've lost control, you can't really predict where it's going, and that's just not as safe, okay? So never cut through your hinge. All right, so my front cut is gonna be facing that direction. You should, you should make the front cut where it's comfortable for you to use the saw, okay? Um. So you want to hit it at 45 degrees, nice and easy, and you're going back into the front of the tree until you get to the back of your front cut. I'm going to keep going, I'm not going to cut through the hinge, I'm going to keep my eye on the top of the tree. As soon as it starts to move, I escape. Stuck. <laughs> and it's stuck. That's <laughs> and uh, that's, that happens. That's going to be a reality for us 
in these stands because they're fairly immature stands, thickly cut, uh, the trees are thick together. So if a tree gets hung, you call the teacher over right away. Okay. Now, th this is when you would cut through the hinge because now what you need to do is pick up the bottom of the tree and carry it back here. Cut the tree off. Wow. And there it goes. <laughs>